Science is very particular with a lot of things, definitions especially. We are particular about definitions because we want to make sure we're always talking about the same thing. And one of the things we want to be very particular with is how we name different biological species. This is something near and dear to my heart, so let's make sure to get this right. Right now, we're talking about scientific names for different species. And what we're doing here is we want to have a standardized format, standardized format, so we make sure we're talking about the same thing. In science, we always want to make sure we are indeed talking about the same thing, because otherwise that can cause problems. Remember in the Challenger shuttle crash, because some scientists were using the metric system and other scientists were using the American system? Sometimes making sure you're talking about the same thing is actually a matter of life and death. So right now, we're talking about names for species. This is the fundamental unit of evolutionary biology. We look at how they change and evolve over time. Some people look at change within one species. Other people look at how species can transform into brand new ones in larger periods of change. And here we have a standardized naming system. What a species is, is actually a pretty thorny philosophical question that people like to argue about a lot. And that's a little bit above what we're going to talk about right now. For now, let's think of a species as just that fundamental unit, things that recognize each other, and are, you know, fundamentally doing the same thing out in the world. But let's look at a couple examples. Tarsier, is that a species? Not quite. There are actually many different species of tarsiers. Domestic cat? Yes, that is a species. Its scientific name is Felis catus. It's kind of a silly one. How about Propithecus? You notice it looks a little bit similar to the previous formatting, but still this is actually a genus. There are multiple species within this genus. So let's look at some of these examples a little bit more in depth. First, our tarsiers. You might notice there's actually three different genera. We have Carlito, only has one species, Carlito cerifta. Then we have genus Cephalopicus, again with one species, Cephalopicus, Cephalopicus bancanus. But then in genus Tarsius, we have at least 12 species that have been named so far. I didn't even bother to put them all on the screen here. Now let's look at Propithecus. These are Shifakas, uh, large lemurs that live in Madagascar. And even when we're talking about these guys, there are a lot of species within genus Propithecus. So make sure if you are looking for a specific species that you're looking for something with these two names here. And once you know that you have a species name, we format it using binomial nomenclature. This was something created by Linnaeus, by means two, gnome is name. So we're talking about species, we designate it with these two names. And it's in this format, genus, then species. The generic epithet or the genus is always capitalized and the species or specific epithet is not capitalized. And you might notice that both of them are italicized. So some good examples here are homo sapiens. But we can also look at some more cuter species. Here we have Tarsius tumpara, the Seao Island tarsier. This is my personal favorite. Notice that gorgeous face with a little bit of white on its underbelly. Next we have Pan paniscus or the bonobo. These are slightly more gracile. You notice their skin is a little bit darker. And my very favorite scientific name, boa constrictor. This is the only species where it has the exact same name for its scientific name and its common name. Remember, format scientific names correctly. This is partially to make sure that we're all talking about the same thing, but this is also a form of academic code switching. When you use the correct formatting, you are telling everyone else that you understand this field and you know what's going on, just like in any other form of code switching. It's very important to get these details right so people will take you seriously. So. What's your favorite animal? And what's its scientific name? 